at the end of our workshop last year, we left all of the very controversial topics open so that we could agree on what we were going to do. What we've done is we've left open the question of which use cases, which scenarios, intentionally, so that we didn't have to have a prioritization discussion. And that was intentionally sort of deferred until next year. Now, since then, we've decided two things. First, that we are not going to have a complementary workshop in September this year involving both the, the networking side and the RAN side. But rather, we decided we will have a, a working level coordination between the working groups for technical discussions. And for program issues, we will work at the plenary level. And we planned in December a decision point in which we plan out the system architecture features that are going to be included in the release 15 timeframe. Now, this will force certain kinds of decisions to occur in RAN at least three months earlier than had previously been thought because we have to decide any place where the system level has a dependency on RAN decisions, those decisions have to be taken early enough. So we actually begin to create a time plan for certain decisions. Independent of that, in June, we began to t discuss a kind of acceleration that was proposed for what was described as a non-standalone next a new radio deployment. That this would be distinct from a uh, new radio deployment, which would be standalone, meaning that it would use the next generation core network, the 5G core network. There was a lot of discussion on this, and particularly to tease out what the scenarios were that we were really, dis really discussing. And in the end, we decided that we would pursue both paths independently. We would look at a non-standalone approach that would use, uh, it would use the new radio as a supplement to the LTE system. And at the same time, we would study how to connect this with the next generation core, either providing the next generation core support for the new radio directly or indirectly through this non-standalone scenario. So this decision point will be in March. What was also decided was that we were going to focus on enhanced mobile broadband as our initial use case with some elements of high reliability and low latency. What those are, it's not clear. Parallel to all this development, the use cases that have been under study by our SA1 working group, which does basically the uh, service requirements and service descriptions, has also matured. And so now we have consolidated use cases from, from many, many different sources in the industry, NGMN, GSMA, regional OPs. And these now are focused on a set of potential use cases which will achieve a normative status either by the end of this year or at latest by March 